I said, Georgia, Georgia, no peace I find, I find just an old sweet song with Georgia on my mind. Georgia on my mind. I said, Georgia. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. Bonnie Willis, I just want you to know I am so proud of you. I am so proud of you. Not just as a black woman, but as a human being that took an oath of office that really, really believed in the oath that she took. And she's showing people what a uh, fair treatment looks like. Okay? Because these 19 defendants, especially the ones, Mark Meadow, and all, I mean, really, really, really thought that they were above us. Everybody. They can do wrong. They can commit all types of shit and then hide behind. Um, I was being, it was, it was a, uh, 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 in the transcript, uh, it was in the bylaws of my job. I'll be there. You know, and y'all got to remember everything that the talking points that these, you know, because I don't belong to either, either party. I believe we need more parties. This Republican Democrat party has just been infiltrated with corporations and big money so none of it is real if anybody is trying to lead you to either one of them they don't have nobody's best interest in mind okay now if you black you vote republican it is certainly not the republican party that my friends grew up with when i came this is not the the, the republicans cannot win another election and that's why they got to cheat and redistrict and do all that. And common sense should tell you there's a problem with a party that has to operate that way. Now, I know you're going to say that there's some blacks for Trump. But I really do believe if you understand Stockholm Syndrome, that's what you will see. Um, and that's why I don't even count those people. I count, I count them as, uh, unfortunately, mentally ill. Because anybody in their right mind that will cut off their nose and spite their face has got to be crazy. Or have been paid off, which has also happened with a lot of blacks for Trump. So I really don't pay them too much attention. Okay? But I'm glad to see number P O oh, 1135809. Damn it, that was. Donald Trump's mug shot number. Okay? And I'm glad to see them having mug shots because they're criminal. They really, really thought that they were... What they tried to pull off was just unbelievable. Fake electorates, people saying that they were... Elect Are y'all kidding me? Are y'all really kidding me that this is what you really want in America? It's already a joke. That none of y'all know civics. Well, at least not my audience. My audience is pretty smart. But a lot of people don't know even civics. They took it out of school, so it's not your fault. And if you don't have a quest to want to learn things, then you really don't even know how this shit operates. And you just voting for personality and emotions. But I appreciate the rats this morning. Not the rhino, you know. Said Republican in name only. Let's talk about the rats. Republicans against Trump's ass. Let's talk about them. 
Republicans against Trump. Okay? Because once you realize you drank the Kool-Aid, you're supposed to wake your ass up. This reminds me of 1976, was it 79, when Jim Jones took all those people over to Guyana and they drank the Kool-Aid. Some of them, when they realized that they had to drink the Kool-Aid, they, they snapped out of it. They was like, what? I got to kill my damn self. Oh, shit. I knew it was a trial run, but I ain't with this. And what happened? It was all in the... a few of them that escaped to Guyana. They, uh, Joe, they went through the uh, 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 woods and escaped the massacre. There was a few of them that did that. But the rest of them, they went down with the ship. Anytime you get in the mug shot and you don't wrote yourself down at six foot three, two hundred and fifteen pounds, he can't tell the truth. He can't tell the truth. If that looked like if Donald Trump looked like six foot three and two hundred and fifteen pounds of y'all, then I'm a, a blonde haired, blue eyed white woman. Okay. Lastly, what's cracking me up is this dude, Cheeseboro, uh, he won a speedy trial. <coughs> I think he was just bluffing. But finally, being the brilliant uh, district attorney that she is, she's she been working for two years on this. She's like, okay, come on, Clarence. Come on, you want it? I, it's a bet. And the judge granted it. So, this is going to start a little bit, maybe October, faster than people imagine. And then what's going to happen, though, when she, you know, oh, Sidney Powell is another one. That's the crazy lady that said that uh, uh, Cesar Chavez uh, was talking through machines from the grave, whatever. Those machines. I mean, it. we had a bunch of mental house patients up in the White House. And those of y'all that don't want to acknowledge that, I feel bad for you. What? Because they were white men and white women that had suits on? That was normal to you? Anybody that's sane and rational know that there's something wrong with Donald Trump. And it's not just all his arrogance. Okay? It ain't just that. The man is crazy. Oh, let me stop. Okay, I'm done. I'm so glad at least part one up to because nobody had the balls to pull the trigger, and they and, and finally sent both of those boys to the uh, bail's bond. <laughs> they had to go to the bail bondsman. They get their bail. <laughs> oh my God. I thank you, finally, because nobody would have pulled the trigger on Donald Trump. These people sat back and just watched. It was like they were scared. You see how white, in my opinion, how white supremacy worked? It made everybody scared of white people. Finally, Lewis said, finally, Willis said, you a damn lie. Y'all done did all this? Uh-uh. Well, I'd be damned if they going to have to stop me because your ass, as, as many... Black people I done put in jail got uh 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 what's we call it sitting there on Rico right now, young thug. Honey, you ain't shit. So you next. And she was a woman, true to her word. I respect you. I respect Bonnie Willis and I love what is happening down in Atlanta. So I know all the haters gonna come out and they're gonna be mad. Um, but I'm more in line with the rats. Republicans against Trump. Okay? And all these people, and I wouldn't say all these because you got who you got. You got that goofball Sarah Palin who can see Russia from her backyard. She wants a civil war. The one that had a daughter went around talking about chastity and, and then had a daughter that was the biggest whore in Atlanta. I mean, uh, uh, Alaska. That type of craziness. The hypocrisy. 
is just mind blowing. All they do is project, 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 project. And you got to realize that when you're dealing with people that they can't tell the truth. How is it? We don't even want to talk about Sarah Payton. Because don't get me on that. All right. Okay. I want to hear what y'all think. Leave your comments below. If you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. Right on, Fonnie Willis. Right on for having the courage to do what the people of Atlanta, Georgia, uh, people of Georgia, I'm sorry, uh, voted for you to do. With that being said, I'll see y'all in the next video.